Hello everybody. Hello, we are out here in the tent art studio in a very humid August Saturday evening. I'm going to do a piece that specifically requested by my friend and co-worker Nakia. And uh, she asked for a of a royal blue color. So that's one of the colors we're going to use. Right now I'm just spreading some clear clear resin on the on my 11 by 14 canvas which was pre treated with a just a normal uh, latex paint to kind of seal it. Because if you don't seal it with canvas, it can, canvas is porous, so once you have your resin on there and drying, the bubbles can come up through. And uh, so putting paint on there can help seal it, and reduce the air bubbles that can come up from the bottom through the canvas. So the colors I'm using tonight. Um, a couple that I haven't used before, this Color Cottage Sapphire Blue, Black Diamond Aluminum. First time using both of those. We have uh, Stardust Mica's King Midas Gold, a beautiful gold color. And we have the Color Cottage Copper Penny Shimmer. And it certainly is that. So before we, I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to use like a stripe pattern tonight. Try and experiment with that. See how it goes. So I have everything mixed up. It's one to one resin to hardener. I'm using East Coast brand resin tonight. So I um, have this aluminum. Hope you can see that in the camera. It's a nice metallic looking color. So I'm just gonna start as as usual I don't have a huge plan here, but I have some idea of what I want to do a little bit. But with resin, once you get started it pretty much tells you what it's going to do. So you may have a plan, but here we have this beautiful copper. I hope that's in focus there. Beautiful copper penny shimmer. So we're just going to make some stripes here. See how it flows. Again, I don't have a big plan, just laying it on here. I have a little more than usual because I was using the last bit from the bottle. So this is more uh, more mixed up than usually. I think it's 16 ounces total, which is quite a bit for a canvas of this size, but you uh, it's better to have too much than too little because you want it to flow. And she, she wanted blue to be, Nakia had requested blue, so I kind of put that on last. And then we're going to see how this goes here. So, I am dripping with sweat because you can't have a fan out here because it would blow dust in the resin so it's a little oppressive out in the tent. I have all the tent flap windows open but still rather muggy so let's just start pouring this blue on here you can see that's a beautiful sapphire blue color and don't really have much of a plan as I said 
we're gonna heat it up with the heat gun and the blow dryer and let it flow a little so at first glance I like the colors I like the colors the way that they work together one thing I've learned is if you like the colors the way they look in the mixing bowls before you pour them you're probably going to like them on the canvas not always though So I'm just heating it up initially to get the air bubbles out and to heat it up a little bit to help it flow better. I think I'm going to use my hands a little bit to start. Kind of get things mixing together a little bit. You have to be careful, you don't want to overdo it because then you get just a whole lot of muck. And you don't want a whole lot of mud and muck. You still want the colors to be very distinct even though they're even though they're flowing together. So it's a a tricky thing tr a tricky thing sometimes. So um Are so good. Well, my, my choices here is I could heat it up and hit it with the blow dryer or I could pick it up and tilt it to make them flow a little bit. I think I'm going to do a little bit of tilting at first. You see it's very fluid and you never really know what you're going to get here. Okay let's go with that. And it's okay if it runs off the edges a little bit because it's going to and then tilt it back the other way and get some really interesting so obviously we're not going to have stripes here <laughs> we're going to have whatever this is which is looking pretty cool I think Pretty cool. All right, let's put it down here, and I just drip sweat on it, which is bad, but we'll take care of that. Get a stick here and kind of swipe that sweat off of there, and. Uh, more gold down here so now what I'm gonna do is do some reinforcing and some some striping and just to add a little I'm gonna put some more silver up here with kind of float off is a little weak and uh, My copper here, kind of that was a little sloppy, but you can be a little bit sloppy with with resin. I'm probably too sloppy. I'm trying. It's tough because I can't. I'm trying not to lean over it and get a whole lot of um, sweat on it. So I have to stay a little bit of a distance, but.
And resin is very forgiving. If you make a mistake, you just, you know, as long as it's fluid, you can do something with it. Put a little more blue here. going to stick to the all right let's just go with this okay um. as you can see I don't really have a huge plan just trying to go with what might look good and then let it flow out. That's kind of cool. Let's put a little bit of a copper river way through here. All right, I like that. Oh, we got that big pool of silver up there. I'm gonna get some blue in it. Okay. Blue on the corner here. And then we'll hit it with the heat gun soon. Um, get some more bubbles out, make it flow. You have about a half an hour more or less to work with it. Depends on the resin you're using, depends on the conditions. like the way something looks you can just you know, put a little gold along the edge here so we don't have a, a bare edge there hopefully that'll look all right sure I get plenty of blue plenty of blue on here because that's the color Nakia had requested so Sometimes I feel like I know what I'm doing. Sometimes I don't. I guess that's the way it is with everything, right? I am just dripping wet with sweat here. I'm sure you really needed to hear that. I tend to sweat a lot anyway, but... Now one thing you want to do is take a look and see where it's flowing off because 
want it to be fairly level. Um, I think it's flowing a little bit. turn it around if I can do that without dripping sweat on it and sticking my thumb in it too much which I just did that's okay we have plenty of resin here so you can see it's starting to get a little a little bit stouter here so I'm gonna I'm going to run out of time as far as working with it soon. So now I'm getting my blower dryer out. I'm going to use it kind of as a paintbrush. Be a little bit careful with how you do this. I don't have it on high. I don't want it to be too too extreme in how it. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to turn it on high. Kind of a cool effect there with the gold. I, I like I like the way that layering out there with the gold. I'll do that a little more up here. Sometimes if you do too much, you can really mess it up. But. and wipe my face off because I mean if you could see me right now my face is soaking wet and my eyes are burning what well, they say no pain no gain right take a look here I like the way that gold is kind of flared out I'm going to try to get it to do that a little more right here completely lost our silver which is really okay sometimes that happens not sure if you have it on the edges I 
in general, I kind of like this way the way this is turning out. getting some loss here on this edge you can feel I could feel the the resin you know when it it's a chemical reaction the resin and the hardener so once you feel it in the bowl it's really starting to heat up which means it's the chemical reaction is happening so um, I'm gonna try to stick under here to it looks like it's flowing too much this way. Let's see if we can get it to maybe turn it around again. about done working it I think it's gonna hit these two corners the heat gun here you can see this it's not moving nearly as much as it did at the beginning Overall, fairly pleased with it. There's a few things I really don't like, but let's see if I can get it. I don't know if I can get it to flow. It's too thin over here. But if I try to do something, I'm a little afraid. But let's try it anyway. Yeah, I hope I'm not messing this up. See how it's getting goopy? We're almost at the danger point where it's going to not flow. I guess I should. The silver is a little more liquid for some reason. Okay. Let's see if we can get that to settle down a little bit there. Then we better leave it alone at the risk of really messing it up. Call it good. See how it looks tomorrow morning. 
Uh, like I said, there's some spots that I really like. Some spots that I'm not too crazy about. Before I clean up here, I'm just going to bring the camera in a little closer. See if it'll focus. Kind of cool. 